Marshall as Hall brings that nose up. Rolls that airplane down our show line here, warming it up out there off that right end zone. What a day to be here, folks. Watch him coming on target now. He's got the power push forward of that 260 horsepower, 540 cubic inch light coming engine as he dives in the aromatic area. He's up for about 210 miles an hour as he brings that smoke back on. Ladies and gentlemen, from Valley City, North Dakota, say hello to Paul Lindemann in the beautiful pit special as he does a double snap roll on top of the loop. The double avalanche. Now as he lets that nose come down, airspeed builds, he extends into the loop end zone. Now showing about 180 miles an hour as he brings that stick aggressively back into his lap. Hunts for that beautiful blue North Dakota sky. Straight up, straight up, straight up, straight up. Hanging on right now. You can see the energy starting to bleed off. He brings that stick aggressively back into his lap. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, the inside vertical reverse or the inside hockey bump. Now as he watches that airplane accelerate out here from left to right. Airspeed builds 170, 180 miles an hour. And now a 4 or 5 G pull right back up into the vertical. Quarter roll up, half roll, three quarter. A full vertical roll in a quarter. Hanging on right now. One and a half, one and three quarter. Two rolls. And now he steps on the rudder. Flies here, playing away. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a beautiful fly. Let's hear it for Paul Lindemann. Yeah. Now Paul steps out here from Air Show Center. Airspeed building once again. Power up on that big light homing engine as he powers right on up into that blue sky. Vertical roll as he extends straight up, straight up out there off that left side. Hanging it on the propeller, just hanging on, hanging on. And now you can see the torque of that engine continues to rotate the wings as he slides backwards now at 30, 40, 50 miles an hour. Oh, oh, oh man, ladies and gentlemen, that's Paul Lindemann, and that's the pit special. Now as we watch Paul bring that airplane right back down into that hard deck out here. He's sliding along now. He's showing about 160, 175 miles hour. He's got the throttle pushed forward. Drops all the way up to max RPM. As he rolls that airplane going straight up, hangs it out there, giving you a nice top platform view. When you see the sunburst, you're looking at the top side of that aircraft. When you see the check, oh, oh, look at that, folks. The double hammerhead or the flying pinwheel right on around. One of the coolest maneuvers in the air show world, the double handler head. As we watch out there on the air show center, Paul extends to that left side. As I was mentioning, when you see that sunburst design, you're looking at the top of that aircraft. When you see the checkerboard, you're looking at the bottom. As you watch it fly that airplane right up the barber pole, get some tops to say, let's take a little off the side. Ladies and gentlemen, the crew control right on up right here on the air show center. There he extends into that right end zone. We're showing about 175 miles an hour as he rolls the inverted. And now, from upside down, he has to push forward on the stick to make that airplane climb. And now he hangs it out to dry right there. Air Speed bleep coming off off just before he starts to slide backwards. He steps on that rudder pedal and executes a beautiful hammerhead turn. Down the nose pointed down. Airspeed building dramatically as he comes right back at us here from air show right. There's 175, 180 miles an hour once again. A very aggressive 5 team pull as he brings that airplane right up across the top. Tumbles that airplane with a single snap roll on top of the loop. Lay show that is some kind of fly. Let's hear from Paul Lindemann. Extends left hand zone, brings that airplane straight back up into the vertical. Watch there as he keeps the action going. He's got it straight up down, pushes forward on the stick. All the force of nature say, Paul, you get out. The only thing that's holding in is that five point harness we talked about earlier. And you know that can't be on tight enough. Now as he steps right back down our show line here into the right end zone, he hunts for the sky right now. Rolls that airplane right around to the inverted. Once again, from the inverted. Instead of pulling back, he has to push forward to make the airplane climb. He flies it right through one half of an outside loop. At the 5 8 point, he throws in a full twist, a snap roll on the 45 degree down line. Now, as you watch Paul extend down here on the air show line, he's got a nice head of steam as he brings that airplane nice into the vertical. Right on up, quarter roll, half roll. There it is, a full vertical roll. Comes to a stop right there, hanging it on the propeller. Just hanging on, hanging on. Last second, he kicks in that rudder, executes a beautiful hammerhead turn. I'll tell you what, this pit special. That's a Paul's flying towards it. It's a beautiful airplane. As we said earlier, marked in the colors and the paint scheme of his dad's uh, Pips S2E that he built in the 1970s. And I'll tell you what, uh, the dad's got to be awful proud of the job of flying that Paul's doing out here today for us in that beautiful pit. As we watch him snap puller right on around out there, keeping the action fast, keeping it furious. You'll notice one of the reasons that that pit special snap roll so well and it was designed to do that and that is it has the only has a straight leading edge but as you watch right now as Paul brings that stick back in his lap you notice that the leading edge of that uh, top wing is 
noticeably swept back. Now let's watch. Paul has turned the smoke off because he is hanging on the prop. Now he's letting it slide backwards in the tail slide and a violent whipstall all over as he recovers out there in the vertical dive. That is beautiful fly by Paul in the day. Showing a nice full reflection of aileron rolls. He goes right down the line, brings that nose up across the top right there while inverted. He tilts his head back momentarily in the canopy, throws it through one and a half staff rolls, maintaining his show line, working with the slight wind that we have here today, keeping himself right where he wants to be, showcasing this airplane beautifully. As you can see, the entire length of his air show performance, he is keeping it within a half a mile at the most as he does a ranch and roll as he dives back in on here on the air show center. Now you can see the hesitation roll. Five, six, seven, eight, the eight point hesitation roll. Now as we watch Paul extend out there, doing a nice, impressive, look that, a very aggressive prop duster style turnaround. Type of maneuver that he and his brother Jared do all the time when they're out there spraying in their turbine powered air trackers. And as we watch them swing back around out here off of air show right. Coming back in out here, they actually fly freshes. So as we watch them swing that aircraft right back in out here off of air show right. Coming back into our aerobatic area here from the right end zone. Once again, he's got that big three-bladed prop being spun by that 540 cubic inch light combing engine. Brings that nose up as he comes right down our show line, doing the very, very difficult uh, slow roll right down into the aerobatic area here. And now as he extends their show center, right at show center, brings their plane up, let's get ready. Oh, 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 as he kicks it loose, look at her plane just tumble through the sky, and he recovers on the top of air show left. Let's have for Paul Lynn and a great job, Paul. Paul aggressively brings that airplane right back in there show center. I'll tell you what, he is just absolutely doing a beautiful job to keep that airplane right in front of us at all times. Did a great job of displaying the capabilities of the Pit Special, the Pit Special series of aircraft. As we watch him climb right there, gain a little altitude off air show center, just hanging it out right now. Now he jumps the nose over, let some cool air go across those servers as he dives in out here off of air show center. He's got it cooking right now. He's going for about 175, 180 miles an hour. As he brings that airplane right back up on a 45 degree up line. And there he goes again. I'm corking out there off of air show right. And he recovers out here off that right end zone. Again, the Pitt Special Aircraft, they trace their lineage all the way back to the 1940s with Curtis Pitts down in Homestead, Florida. Designed and built his first Pitt Special. It was originally powered by a little 40 horsepower Continental engine. It gained great fame with uh, Betty Skelton flew her Pitt Special known as Little Stinker. That aircraft is actually hanging upside down in the main entry to the Smithsonian uh, Institute Aviation uh, Museum that's located at Washington Dulles International Airport. And uh, again, uh, the Pitt Specials when flown by King Charlie Hillard out of Fort Worth, Texas. He was the first American to ever win the World Aerobatic Championship, and uh, that aircraft uh, was a pit special. The uh, pit special is very predominant on the United States World Aerobatic Team that also won the first ever World Championship in the United States, flown by pilots such as Gene Susi, Tom Pobrezzi, and Charlie Hillard. Look at how we watch coming down into the aerobatic area here from Air Show Wright. This is the big two place. 540 inch version of the Pit Special there. Factory built in Hampton, Wyoming, but beautifully restored by the Lindemann Brothers in Valley City. So, ladies and gentlemen, once again, great air show performance. Let's hear it for Paul Lindemann. Great job, Paul. Really a treat to have both the Lindemann Brothers here with us today. Jared will be flying that beautiful Red Baron Stearman for us here in just a little while. What a day to be here in Fargo. We're thrilled to be with you. We're looking forward to it. It's going to be just a great full day of family air show fun. As we watch out here off of air show left, as we've got... Uh, Paul's out there on short final approach. He'll be touching down here momentarily on runway 36. 